I didn't want to have to make this video either, but corporate class trolled me by changing the trap gag track. <laughs> Disclaimer. This video is a joke and slash or a parody. It's not a serious video. Wait. Oops, wrong disclaimer. My bad. This video is not a joke and not a parody. It's also an argument that unprestige trap is better than prestige trap. If you say that it isn't an argument that unprestige trap is better than prestige trap, you are misrepresenting my argument and I will see you in court. You might be thinking, didn't you already make this video? Yes, I did. But that was for pre-1.2.5. That one's outdated. This one is for post-1.2.5. Let's take a look at the patch notes from October. Trap has been reworked both in main functionality and prestige. Trap now has a natural damage boost against executive cogs, dealing 30% more damage to any executive, regardless of prestige. In addition, Trap's prestige is no longer based on cog level, instead granting a 20% damage boost to any cog with 50% or more remaining health. Okay, well, sounds like they made the prestige even more useless. Wait. Hold on. Most trap gags have had their damages buffed? What the f***? Sorry, it's just that I didn't think they could make trap even better. Also, before you accuse me of swearing, I didn't. Just look at the script. Okay, so Rake does 35 damage now. Springboard does 50. Marbles does 75? Wow. 115 damage quicksand? Trap door at 160, Wrecking Ball is at 220, and TNT does 280 damage now? Holy crap. Okay, just, just give me a moment to compose myself. So, so basically, Marbles kills 7s, Quicksand kills 9s, Trap door kills 11s, Wrecking Ball takes out 13s, and TNT now one-shots a level 15. And that's not considering the EXE buff they apparently gave Trap, uh, which we'll discuss right now. Trap now does 30% more damage to any executive cog. Prestige adds an additional 20% to any cog that is above 50% health, as we saw. Executive cogs have higher HP than normal cogs. Trap is the high damage one-shot gag track, so why even use it on non-executive cogs? And Prestige Quicksand on an EXE does 150, killing a level 8 EXE. Trapdoor's EXE damage is 208 when unprestiged, which gets rid of a level 10 EXE. Wrecking Ball with no prestige still kills level 12 EXEs, and TNT takes out level 14 EXEs. Prestiging Trap only makes it so that the Trap Gag can kill a cog one level higher in most cases, so there's really no reason to get Prestige Trap anymore, especially when the Trap Boost SOS cards exist. Or, you know, trap drop combos. Okay, so Clash decided to ruin this part of the old video even more by changing drop's combo damage as well. So it's math time. Hooray. Let's see, the level 20 combo is now Wrecking Ball plus an unprestige safe and big weight. Uh, give me a second. Wait, where, where'd my calculator go? Uh, the level 17 combo, whatever that was, uh, oh, trapdoor and double big weight, yeah, that still works. Uh, here, I'll also throw in a bonus combo. Wrecking Ball plus two unprestige boulders kills a level 20 EXE. Very simple, very easy stuff.
Okay, that's enough math for ever. While Prestige Trap is not a complete scam, and I won't exactly fault anyone for having it, and Prestige Trap is more than sufficient in almost all cases. I mean, rewind the video if you need to refresh your memory on why that is. Take a closer look at all the gag tracks, and you will find this to be the case. Well, there you have it. Prestige Trap now serves no purpose at all, and you can just get on Prestige. Uh, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more like it, and leave a comment with your thoughts on all this. Uh, hopefully none of my other videos become outdated anytime soon, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.